Good morning, everybody. I have just cleared my memory card and put a fresh battery in the camera because I am ready for a long vlogging day today. Today is the day that we tackle the room of doom. This is part two of my spring cleaning series. If you haven't seen part one, I will pop it in the corner of the screen up the top somewhere. But yes, today is wardrobe clear out slash declutter slash put into storage day because I don't really tend to like do big clear out so much as I used to. What I like to do is put things into storage. So I just find that sometimes like there might be one year where I don't wear something, but then there might be another like three years after where I get so much wear out of something and it's always worth keeping something if I really like it, just because I haven't worn it in one six month period doesn't actually mean that I'm not gonna wear it. And my preferences and what I like change so much. So what I like to do is kind of make a little pile for like friends and family, which is usually very small, a pile for Depop again, usually very small i have three rails currently in the room of doom which i do not want one of them was like a spare from when i was having all of the flooring redone and everything had to be taken off of shelves which were then being repurposed for another room and moved out and like kept in like the kitchen and stuff so i have rails everywhere so there is one rail that definitely needs to be taken down today and it's just kind of like got about five things on it i also have a really precariously placed rail let me show you everyone is going to judge me I am just gonna accept that. <laughs> I meant to note to myself. So this is what the Room of Doom currently looks like. This rail is actually, this room goes <laughs> much further back. This rail is like almost in the middle because I have lots of my shoes lined up behind it and I put this rail together basically over the Christmas period and I was literally doing it in like 15 minutes in a massive rush. So it's very long and I don't have like a ton of space in here. So I just kind of put it together in the middle of the room and realized that it didn't really have time to be moving the entire room around. So that is one of my things on my to-do list today. There are two very big rails in here. This one is an interesting one. I actually have like segments in this. So this end is like stuff that actually needs to go into storage. This end was stuff that I was potentially depopping. The depopping is a very slow process at the moment because my depop assistant is not allowed in my house. So we are just kind of working off of what she has and what is already on the depop. But other than that, nothing new is going on there until we are like fully out of lockdown and it's safe to have like people in my house and an assistant can actually like come in and work and then we have this little rail here that is just like falling apart and just needs to be like dealt with because i'm just using it to throw clothes on the side of the door we have this storage which is very useful it's not looking cute and it it still has christmas presents that is how much i haven't seen people you guys but yeah this just needs a little kind of tidy up but nothing crazy we still have two moving boxes these are my charity boxes they're not full but it's just i keep them there as like storage for things that i want to give to charity and right now charity shops aren't really taking anything so yeah that is why those are there got bags i've got a lamp a round of lamp i'm gonna like try and make this room look some kind of like actual room today so that will probably come in handy i've got my bag storage behind but as you can see i can't really get to it so i've been throwing bags here so what i'm gonna start by doing is taking bits out that i know i definitely want to put into storage i think i'm probably gonna be a little bit ambitious and put some some of the winter coats into storage because it is going to start getting warmer soon. This video probably would have been timed better if I'd done it bang on when we started needing a slightly less heavier clothing, but I'm kind of ha gonna have to do it preemptively because this needs to be done. I'm creating so much content at the moment for reels and I actually struggle to find everything. So this is just an absolute necessity. And I also want to be able to show Carla who is helping me kind of design my wardrobe situation. I want to be able to show her what I actually am working with on like a seasonal basis basis because right now I have just been really slack with this there's some summer things still in here so I need to be able to show her what I intend to have like the quantity I intend to have on a seasonal basis and on a rotational basis rather than just like you know everything so we can see how much storage I need for the wardrobes so this is the official before <sighs> okay here goes quite literally nothing beauty products in here. This is bad. I'm at that point where I already want to stop.
Ryan, I think I broke your rail. <laughs> up a lot of floor space ah oh, which was so good also I can now stop going out of focus because I can actually get some daylight which is lovely yeah I'm starting to feel like <laughs> I'm starting to feel the effects of when you don't clear out your wardrobe regularly like I used to do it so regularly obviously I work in fashion so a lot comes in even if I never bought anything I would always need a small rail for things like that could just come in so yeah there's just a lot of like gifting that I'm kind of like noticing, like stashed here and there that really needs to be kind of like assessed, looked at, organized. This is an even bigger job than I thought it was going to be. There's also so much that I have, like I've found these boots that I've had earmarked to like sell on Depop or in some format for so long. I don't even know if I'm gonna sell these now. I'm really questioning myself. I love them, but I just haven't worn them in so long. Maybe I'll just put them into storage. I don't know. These are really sentimental to me because they were like one of the first like designer things I ever got gifted. Lockdown is just really ruining my vibe. <laughs> I need I need help, I need assistance. I also am not used to d clearing out a wardrobe solo. I always, always have at least Carla help me because she obviously her job is wardrobe organization. So I take full advantage of the fact that she obviously loves doing it and she's my friend and it's her job. So she's very good at it. Fortunately, I do have some kind of system. So this rail here is stuff that I don't wear so regularly and then obviously the end like i said was depop and the other end was summer but i've taken all the summer stuff off and i'm gonna reassess because i don't really see the point in putting all the summer stuff back when that's the season that we're kind of nearing so and some of them are things that kind of like transition really well which is why they weren't in storage to begin with so this is kind of where i'm going to start my like assessment of like do i wear it do i love it do i need it does it still fit i literally going through the first rail it was all stuff that i kind of like benchmarked as stuff that was like too big so that was super easy to just be like too big too big too big like mom jeans that were big in the first place when i got them previously and now i'm like a dress size down but yeah i'm gonna start over here work my way over here and then we're gonna start with all of my like loungewear and things like that because I have a lot of loungewear and it's probably what gets worn the most for like the longest periods of time. I like change outfits so many times a day for work obviously. But yeah, let's make a start. This dress, this dress is so lovely. I really didn't get the chance to wear this enough. I might keep it. Love a midi dress. Love a midi dress. <laughs> Love a cardigan. I'm gonna struggle with this. I haven't worn that in so long. I haven't worn that in so long. Literally can't remember the last time I wore that. This never getting rid of it no matter how much carla goes but when do you wear it i love it okay this love it needs to go with summer stuff this is huge on me like actually huge summer stuff summer stuff summer stuff that was really sheer i've not worn that in so long
sell it, I'm sure. What do we think? Let me know. Carla, if you're watching, can you also let me know? Because I need help. So what I think I want to do is have this rail as like my depop and new in rail so that I can like see what I need to kind of like do in terms of depop and then what I need to do in terms of like new in things that need to be assessed and kind of like looked over and then have this as like the fixed wardrobe situation if that makes any sense at all. <laughs> also back in the day when I actually had like a decent wardrobe and a really lovely system that wasn't this chaotic I actually did a blog post that's called a personal stylist organize my wardrobe here's what I learned if you want because Carla's obviously not here to help me and give her expertise if you want her like summary of how we really do it I will link that in the info box for you to go and have a read through and I also want to get all of the hangers to be the same color so my like personal wardrobe be all gold and then like the work wardrobe be all ro rose gold I can't hardest word for me to say so yeah we will see how that goes all right so with that in mind i've got some condensing to do some of you bad boys are gonna have to go in storage okay shall we i'll show you what is in the main section there might be some new bits in here that have kind of like wiggled their way in that actually i'm not certain on but for the most part this is like stuff that i really love so i'll take you through first up we have a vintage moogler jacket and it's like in this beautiful nude color in like i think it's like a brushed cotton it is just so beautiful it's not like particularly my style my everyday style but stuff like this is good to have for the occasional reel that crops up and i also just couldn't resist picking up a bit of vintage moogler because it is just such a lovely brand and i just thought it was so gorgeous i got it off audrey layton vintage and i just love everything she does so i just really wanted to support her as well and it's just the cutest little jacket so that kind of goes on the end along with is my balenciaga jacket which is another item that i just don't think i will ever get rid of i will always have this it's just like the perfect i love the wash of the denim it's like a perfect blue denim wash but it's in this like faded kind of effect so it's more faded like around the top part and then you can see on the back it kind of like fades as well and i just love it it's one of those things that like your kids will look at when you're like in your 40s definitely for me when i'm in my 40s because <laughs> you know i'm nearly 30 and i don't have children yet they will be like oh mum, that's so like old school like really disgusted by it but i will love it and then have this dress this is on the end as well because it's like an events dress but i pull this out quite a lot for when i have brand campaigns and things like that it's just a beautiful black slip dress you can't really see it properly because it hangs really weird because it actually is meant to like crisscross so that is always just out i never put that in my events wardrobe i think what i'm going to do whilst i'm doing this with you is also swap the hangers out so they're all gold so this is the dress that i wore for christmas it's by patricia benaldi patbo the brand but she used to be patricia benaldi i've been following her for years i did that thing when you join instagram where you search for people with your last name and it's so rare and i just love that i found someone that worked in fashion and had my last name but yeah anyway i love this dress i just thought it was a real bit of me if you know my body that i love that i have from top shop that i wore for my like 20 28th birthday yeah 28th it reminded me of that i love this kind of style with like nude and black lace it's just stunning and i love the dress and i'm never getting rid of it even though it's a little bit too big i'd love to have it taken in actually oh hang on next up we have a gucci t-shirt i'm never getting rid of this it's just one of those things that will always be like even when it's not like a trend have the brand splattered on everything it will just be one of those items that is like it's vintage but the one thing i am going to do is probably put it on a different hanger because i feel like the velvet ones put too much strain on the neckline then we have things that go on my bottom half this skirt which I really like. It's very comfy. I got it from Topshop ages ago. It has a matching top, but I put the matching top in a dark wash, so now they don't match. Sad. But it looks really cute when you just like throw anything on, like a jumper with it. We have the Zara leather joggers. Still love them. They are very big on me now, though, but 
I'm going to see if they do them in a smaller size, but I think I got them in a small, so I don't think they do a smaller size. We have an Audrey Layton vintage skirt that needs to go in summer. And then we have this little tan skirt which has a matching blazer and the matching blazer is on my rail in my bedroom so I'm about to use it for a reel. My rail in my bedroom is basically like a things that need your attention over the next couple of weeks or months kind of rail rather than like I come in here I get overwhelmed so I have to like do a subsection that lives in my bedroom. We have this lovely nude satin effect shirt from Nasty Girl. I just think it's a really timeless piece to have in your wardrobe so no plans to move that. We then have this lovely top from Topshop which makes cameras go a bit funny sometimes. I'm gonna check the footage back from this because maybe it won't. I really love it. It's like a gingham effect and the sleeves are massive and I really want to wear it for like sit down videos but I need to check how it kind of comes across on camera because if it sends the camera funny it's a no. I also have this slightly more bold shirt from Topshop. It looks amazing with white jeans so I'm keeping it because I just love that look. Then got my beloved ASOS boyfriend shirt. They still make this. I love it. This is the problem with this bit of the wardrobe is I don't want to get rid of any of these things. <laughs> this shirt is fairly new from ASOS. I'm obsessed with it. So that's going back in the shirt department. This top from Topshop I still haven't properly worn, but I am going to wear it. I have decided. I still have the tags and things. I wear things and don't take the tags out. It's a really bad habit. But yeah, this is really cute and a nice one for when I'm like doing sit down videos and I want to wear like a nice top and my pajamas on the bottom. We then have shirts. I don't have many shirts, but I really like these two. This one's got like a kind of tweed textured effect and this one's just in a check. This one's from Zara, this one's from Nasty Girl. We then have the Zara belted shirts. You guys will know them so well, I don't really need to go into them too much and they're definitely not leaving my wardrobe anytime soon. We then have my mango cardigan with my little H&M green knitted dress underneath. I like to wear them together, so I generally tend to hang them together okay and then we're really fully getting into knitwear which is slightly overwhelming because there's just so much we have my I believe this is misguided long gray knit dress yeah love that that will probably need to go into storage soon i've got a top shop knitted dress which i love all very autumnal pieces really this lovely asos one i need to put this in the wash because it is so static it's not, it's not good. I have a lovely black Audrey Layton wrap dress, which would be perfect for when I want to do an all black outfit in spring. We have an ASOS. This is like a cord. There's a skirt underneath this. Yeah, that will probably need to go in storage at some point soon too. Maybe we'll just do a like organizing today and then I'll do the transitional kind of switch over in a couple of weeks. I think that makes sense. One thing I try and do, and this is something that's come up in like wardrobe organization videos over and over and over again, is to not color block. So I always try and keep like different colors next to each other, but not colors that clash, but just like similar tones so that you get a little bit of depth, but you can also see your items rather than having all of your white stuff together and you can't see what is what. We have my All Saints knit, I love this jumper. I sadly shrunk it, but I'm making it work. My and other stories dress. This will actually be a good spring one, to be honest, because it's a lot lighter. Got a little misguided cardigan and midi dress. This is such a lovely like nude combo. I'm really looking forward to wearing this in the spring. I think I'm actually gonna put that next to my mango and H&M little combo, just to kind of have outfits ready to go, I guess. Oh, you need a hanger change. Then got my beloved pretty little thing grey cardi. Everyone always asks where this is from. I just picked it up like one day, just happened to pick it up before lockdown and it became my like lockdown essential and it always sells out when it's in, when it's on the website. ASOS cable knit cardi. This needs a wash as well because it's so static. I've got my Zara little like vest tie waist dress thing. We've got a little misguided fur gilet with my H&M knit underneath it. Quite often I put the knits underneath. This one normally has a knit underneath it as well, so it's like an outfit that's like ready to go. Same with this one, misguided, H&M jumper underneath, black scarf, got a white ASOS trench coat, and we've got two of my favourite blazers. One still has the tag in, again, have worn it. These are both from Zara, I love them, they're so cool. And I don't know if you've noticed, but the order kind of goes from lighter to heavier with this rail, so we're just getting into more and more like heavy coats as we go on down here. Then have leather jackets, so I've got my favourite Zara one, my All Saints one in the most 
gorgeous colour. I'm obsessed with this colour. And then my Bershka one, which is a slightly more cropped version of the Zara one. I then have a nasty gal tie waist. Like this is like a dress shirt jacket. Then got my gilet with a little roll neck underneath because that's exactly what I love wearing underneath my gilet. And that is staying through like spring, potentially summer as well because it, it will be so essential for when I'm doing gardening. Then got an and other stories jacket, which I've just loved over the winter period it's so warm it just doesn't have a hood so that's why it doesn't get worn like daily by me but i love it and then i have a zara aviator jacket i really haven't worn this i really thought i would wear it more it's mad that is gonna go on this rail as like a i'm not sure needs to be considered to be sold on and then have my beloved zara puffer jacket which is literally getting so worn i need to see if i can wash this not ideal but it has been worn literally every single day of the winter we have a little pink misguided version as well which would be nice for spring have my all saints puffer which i just am obsessed with my big long sleeping bag puffer from misguided it's so huge <laughs> Okay, my battery died, but I made myself a hot chocolate and I persevered with the situation. The rails are looking better. There are a couple of spare hangers. Slightly more on here, which is good because as I have stuff to depop, it means there are just hangers that I can pop on. Out here, I have a box of stuff I need to go through because it's just like a box of random junk that's actually left over from when I moved and I didn't realise that it was there. I think the majority of it is like to give away or to depop. There are some aquas or issues in there, so I think it was meant to be a depop box, but it needs my attention. And then I have things for the vacuum seal bags that go up in the loft. So we've got event dresses, which I have been using because I've been making reels lately. So they all came down from the loft and all need to get back up. And then I have some summer bits that are like peak peak heat wave like summer material and then i have my like fluffy coats because we're about to approach rainy season like that spring wet weather these just aren't appropriate and i know that i won't get the wear out of them kind of going forward through the year so the fluffy ones are the only ones that i'm putting up into storage for now so as you can see i'm left with puffer coats and leather jackets and then like more coatigan style things so much more appropriate for this kind of really in between time of year to be honest but yeah i need to get everything folded i want to get my shoes organized in some way i don't know how <laughs> but i'm going to give this my best shot so that we can have like a really nice organized system going forward through the box of like random stuff that had like Aquazura shoes that I thought was for Depop and I can confirm it was a Depop box that had kind of gone a bit awry but I thought I would show you some of the things that are going to appear on my Depop that are like slightly more exciting than your average like high street this will all be over like the course of the summer because obviously COVID and also I reserve the right to change my mind about any of these items firstly why I sell sunglasses why did I buy these I don't know they are so not me they're so cute but they're so not me I have Mimi sunglasses actually have the box i love these sunglasses i love these it's just every time i put them on in front of someone they're like they are not you but i just love them it's just like the most cute like little 60s is it 60s pair of sunglasses just think i love the sides of them they are just beautiful i don't wear them and i would like them to go to a much better home god the amount i've spent on sunglasses over the years i actually don't buy sunglasses anywhere near as much as i used to it used to be like an obsession another pair of Mimi sunglasses i might have been gifted those aspinall sunglasses these ones are cool because they've got like a little line on the side but again like a really oversized pair and i'm just not sure that's me i've got so many dior sunglasses that i'm going to be selling because i went through a phase where i loved dior sunglasses but now i'm just like i would not wear these i would not wear these there will be so many people that they look so cute on but not me these were a real like trend a few years back Unfortunately, they all have their cases. The dual ones are worn, like they're not like, they don't look brand new, but you can tell I like them. This pair were one of my absolute favorites. I love them so much that I actually scratched the lens and I believe this is a fresh pair. <laughs> this isn't the same pair that got scratched because I loved them that much and I was that heartbroken because the scratch was right over where your like vision is. So I literally couldn't wear them. What else have I got? I've got the red Aquazura shoes, which I think are quite timeless. I could keep them. I just don't 
have the need for a red shoe. I say that, it would have been great to go with that dress. I'm gonna be selling this bag. I'm pretty certain on it now. Oh yeah, it actually does fit my phone in. I'm quite impressed by that. I didn't think it would. And I've got the Pro Max. So like the biggest. It's such a cute colour. Oh god, Suze, don't change your mind now. I do love my pastel coloured bags. I went through a phase where I was like, no more, no more buying pastel coloured bags. And I do love them. This was a gift from Victor and Rolf. I've literally never worn it. But yeah, those are the main things. But I think I might assess my bag situation. Because there are some bags that have gone severely unloved over the past year. And I know it's been like COVID situation. But there are some, like this one. Oh, but I love I just don't really wear it very often and I feel like it could go to a better home. It would go for a very reasonable price as well because the back of it was very warm. Still looking good really for the fact that it is a suede. I'm really impressed with the fact that, God, I wore this so much. I loved it. This was like what I bought for myself after a trip to New York when I made it through New York and the flight without having a panic attack. Like my bags used to be like rewards to myself for like getting through a situation. I don't do that so much anymore. Actually, I think that was why I bought the Porsche Matisse because I was like, you need to get through December without crying. We also have the Chloe Drew. I think this is gonna, this is gonna go. Mm, is it? Is it? Yeah, it just doesn't feel like a very me bag. I think there are more like me nude bags out there, you know? So I'm gonna put that in the box. If I don't go back to it, then we will know. What else do we have? Oh, the Dior. I love this nude bag. I don't think that's going anywhere. I've got the Chloe backpacks in like a blue and a tan and I just I don't know I don't think I'll get rid of them especially the blue one the blue one I get DM'd about all the time yeah I'm gonna put the Gucci I'm gonna put the Gucci in the box that would be a serious bag cull you know I would then have two YSL evening bags two totes one camera bag a couple of backpacks and a few small bags that would be it Oh, and then my Chanel's. Oh, and the whole Givenchy family. I blame the Givenchy's for the fact that lots of my other bags don't get that much wear because I just wear them all the time. I love them so much. I've got this Zara bag. I have not worn this in a long time, so that is going to go in the pile. Oh, I love this bag. I, t I can't wait till I can eventually wear this on a beach. Oh, that is what I would like to have in here is some kind of shelving situation just especially for the Givenchy family because they're just the cutest bags when you line them up in a row. So I have those two have this little white one and have this one so cute and this was like the era when they had Ariana Grande as like the brand ambassador I never put this one in a dust bag so I use it literally like every other day for work and these are so difficult to store on these shelves they just don't really fit anywhere we've also got the classic flap which we can put down here my boy bag is in my bedroom little Balenciaga where are you gonna go oh little clutch. I actually think I saw somewhere the other day, it might be ASOS or Zara doing a version of this, like obviously without the branding. We also have this bag, which I am going to be selling because I have a lot of totes. Well, I have two totes. I have the Saint Laurent Reeve Gauche, which is really looking like it's seen better days, but love it. And then the Dior book tote, and they are just a little bit taller than this, which works for me in like carrying a laptop. But I have a very big laptop. I have a very big screen. So if you have a smaller laptop, this will be fine. So yeah, I'll pop all the measurements so that you can kind of tell. But just as a height comparison, it is much smaller, but it has these poppers. So you can kind of like decide whether you want it in like a square or a kind of triangle buckety style bag so it can release it like wide like this i really love this aspect of it it had a detachable strap and the strap is either you can either have it, have it black or black and white striped which i thought was so cute and the inside is all black and white striped as well which i really liked i need to go through this this is my box of all of the like authentication cards and stuff we then have my little backpack you need a duster bag my friend i need to find one i will never sell that backpack i love it it reminds me of one my mum had in the 80s and sentimental Sally over here. So I'm gonna put those there whilst I'm deciding. Let me know your votes for the shoes. Does anyone want them? You can DM me if you want. I'm gonna FaceTime Carla as well and get her opinion. And then I think I'm gonna give these to a friend. I think they're too worn to feel okay about selling them. I'm sure one of my friends who's a size five will absolutely love them. Oh, my sliders. Oh, I've missed wearing these. These are my little Chanel sliders, which I just love. They're just like the best sliders. I'm gonna put my wellies in the loft because I never use them. I've got my little black YSL belt bag. I think I'm probably gonna sell this. I don't feel very attached to it at all if I'm honest. I've looked after it well. It's held up well considering the amount that I wore it when I got it. It's stuffed at the moment so 
I keep it nicely and it holds its shape really well if you stuff it. If you don't, it might like sink in a bit. That's what, one thing I found with like all wide cell bags is they will just sink if you let them. But if you stuff them, good as new. It needs to go to a good home. So, wow, this is quite the lineup, really. I didn't think that the stuff that I would be selling would be like that nice looking. I really thought it was gonna be like legit the drags, you know? Yeah, okay, so bags are organized. Not that they look organized, but they are. Still need to sort out this shelving properly. It's not so bad here, but definitely sunglasses, belts, all of the accessories need to be tended to. And then really we've just got shoes, knitwear and denim. And we're done. can't believe I've done this in this time frame. I still need to hoover desperately because I've unearthed some dust bunnies but it is fine. And the sun is out so I've got this lovely spring light coming through which is so nice. Like end of the day is when this room gets a lot of light which is lovely. Got all my shoes which it's not ideal. They might get a bit dusty but especially during covid times but it's fine. We'll work with it. Behind this rail we've got my boxes with my folded knitwear in we've got a couple of boxes behind this rail as well they just tuck really nicely this one they tuck behind the bar and this one they sit on the bar this is much better like i can see floor and i spent a lot of money on this floor so that makes me really happy and before i get on with my editing i need to wrap ryan's presents maybe i'll do this after i also need to write in his cards yeah plural because i picked two because obviously i couldn't just choose one this one was my favorite but this one felt really appropriate now this is just the kind of Friday we needed. We've got the patty and bun, like DIY vegan burger kits as the start to our Valentine's Day weekend because we're making a whole weekend out of it because I have nothing else to do, people. Prosecco all weekend. So we are kicking things off with Prosecco, but we're gonna be moving on to cherry spritzes, which I am really excited about. And we have already done cards and presents. We both got each other two cards. I'm really impressed. It just shows how indecisive we are. Yeah, you're right. It does show how indecisive we are. But look at the size of that. <laughs> <laughs> I've never had a giant card. Brian always does things that like I've never had for Valentine's Day. You're really good at that. So I've got a single red rose. Never had that. And a giant ass card. Also never had that. I've always wanted someone to get me a giant card. Oh yeah, this card. We also love. <laughs> we have also got waffle fries, which I've never had. So excited about that. And you are about to have your dinner. Wow. Chef Ryan, patty and bun. You have outdone yourself. This sauce as well, so good for dipping. We are following up our delicious burgers with a Valentine's brownie, salted caramel ice cream, and a cherry spritz, which is like amaretto, a dash of cherry juice, and then a dash of Prosecco. Valentine's Day activity number one. Should I go for a double? <laughs> yeah, come on. Oh! Hey! <laughs> I've got spot cream on this. <laughs> Whoa! That was a double! <laughs> yeah, I didn't tell you I do this a lot. <laughs> so you're doing your spare time? Whoa, you're just flicking out doubles left, right, and center. <laughs> What? <laughs> 
welcome back to the wardrobe room. I'm coming at you with a very cold end to my cup of coffee. But you know what's not tragic? The fact that this room is kind of there. It needs a little bit more tweaking, like this rail here. I could spend hours like reordering it so that all of the collar heights are kind of like sit with each other and everything just looks really, really neat, which I definitely will do at some point. I Let's face it, we're in lockdown. I will get bored. Just for the sake of kind of showing you some progress, I thought I would give you a little look at how things are looking right now. This is obviously not walk-in wardrobe of dreams. This is like interim, let's just make sure that this wardrobe functions as a wardrobe and not as a dumping ground kind of vibes. But yeah, so this is how we are looking. I have this makeshift little table here for my lamp which actually is really cute at night rather than using this light up here which needs some tending to I'm gonna buy like a whole like pendant kind of situation once I know what we're firmly what we're doing in here and like the overall vibe so yeah this is my main wardrobe this comes alive in the summer because we get to store the coats vacuum seal those and then we have so much more space to work with I live for my summer wardrobe it both looks so pleasing and it's just so much more minimal I love it I have a little vacuum seal bag over here I thought I'd just show you you kind of how I store things this is like some of my spring summer clothes that have been stored so you can see they all get like squashed down and it just makes everything so much easier to store this has been cleaned up a lot I'm very happy with it I also did a clear out of my sunglasses there were a few more pairs that I have put in the box of luxury stuff to be depopped or sold however I haven't decided how I'm going to do it yet and then I have my gym stuff and then right down the bottom we have my nail stuff underneath like my gel kit and stuff which I might give to a friend because I'm just not doing gel polish anymore I can't be asked so yeah that is how it is looking it is considerably better than it was before so you girl is happy also how much are we loving this little cardi? I'm obsessed with it. It is so cute. Look at that. I was looking for a cropped black cardigan. Sorry, the light is so bad in here. The light is bad everywhere. I need to turn my windows into mirrors. That would solve the issue. But yeah, I was looking on ASOS for a cute like cropped black cardigan and this came up and I'm just absolutely obsessed with it. It's actually Mango via ASOS, but I've never seen this on the Mango website. So that is one of the reasons that I love ASOS. Their buyers are really good at like picking really good things specifically off of Mango, like also and other the stories but they always get the best mango bits in like stuff that i never see on the website so yeah really happy with this so cute just looks nice with like a black pair of leggings as well this is like classic zoom attire for 2021 i've just paired it with my fendi earrings and then i've got this locket from astrid and me yeah it's really cute it's just like a little shell Lock it. I love it i want to show you the cardigan better so i need to find a window yeah this is the cardigan it's really cute I've probably got it a bit dusty because uh, obviously been wearing it whilst doing a little bit of spring cleaning. So not ideal, but I just really love it and I really want it to be cute today. So I actually have a few bits that I picked off of ASOS that are part of my ASOS edit for February. I do a roundup of my favorite pieces every month on Instagram, if you don't know, because I'm an ASOS brand ambassador. I will show you on here what I picked up for it, just because I know some of you don't follow me on Instagram. So I will show you those, I think in the next video they're all in my office so it kind of makes sense for me to show you those as i'm kind of like clearing out the office but i think that's where i'm gonna end this vlog i really hope you guys have enjoyed seeing my room go from trash to you know a livable little space as i just said spring clean will continue in the next video so that will be on monday so i'm excited to be back with you for that i need to start vlogging for that tomorrow <laughs> these videos take so long so i hope you guys love them i haven't even uploaded the first one yet so I hope you like them. Let me know if you want more, if there's anything I could tweak for the final one. Yeah, I hope you're all having a really lovely day and I'll see you guys again very, very soon.